All right, so I came down south to try and find some rocks. And I see a snapping turtle making his way over the edge of this dam back to the water. Doesn't look like an alligator snapper. No, there's a bunch of them here. It's like a common. We'll see if we can get a good shot of it. All right, so here he is. Trying to make his way back to his lake. I saw this guy from the road. Pretty cool. His shoe's all wet to get this shot. There he is. Common snapping turtle. And the neat thing is this is an area that also has alligator snapping turtles, so always cool to see both in the same area. Take a good look at that face. What's up, dude? Good looking turtle. All right, I'm gonna let him kind of continue on his way back out to his lake here. Really neat looking habitat. All right, so I just walked up on this basking loggerhead musk turtle. Uh, these guys do occasionally bask. It's a pretty good example of it. They find kind of narrow sticks. And there he goes. And they'll just kind of find like narrow little areas like this uh, where the, the basking surface is more like a narrow kind of little pole or something. And that's what they seem to prefer to bask on. So pretty neat. Uh, this is kind of a tide, I don't want to call it a tide pool area, but this is definitely like a water collection area where it comes over the dam, fills up in here to keep it from flooding, and then goes over a narrow channel off to the side back into the creek. Um, so this has everything that lives in the creek will also live in this kind of big pond looking area. All right, so right here, I just walked up on this cotton mouth. It's hiding right in here. This is one I see here all the time. And uh, just gonna kind of leave him here to kind of do his thing. Uh, these guys, I'm not too worried about them. They always kind of stay off to the side and they don't want any trouble, so. I just kind of leave them be and we have a gentleman's agreement that you go your way, I go mine, and everything works out good. So, nice, cotton mouth. Not a bad way to uh, start this day off. Got a snapping turtle and a cotton mouth and I'm pretty good with that. All right, so in this creek habitat, uh, I can find a pretty good uh, variety of species in here. I can find everything from uh, common snapping turtles, loggerhead musk turtles, common musk turtles, striped mud turtles, um, all the way up to, uh, you know, cool things like, you know, big soft shells, alligator snapping turtles. Uh, there's barber's map turtles um, in like small pockets through here. Uh, this particular stretch, I've never found a barber's in this stretch, but I can go kind of either direction and, and run into barber's map. So this one is, honestly, I'm looking in all, all these like kind of holes in the bank because this one is a really good spot for alligator snapping turtles and it's usually where I get the first one of the year uh, just waiting around looking in kind of pockets. So we'll see how it goes. Got a couple more spots I'm gonna stop at and uh, so far off to a good start. Already got a few turtles under the belt for today and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So for me, there's a lot of dead giveaways here for uh, alligator snapping turtle activity. Um, you can look under any kind of ledge or overhang and you can see that it's been kind of dug away at um, where they basically tried to see uh, what they can wedge themselves under. And sorry, I had some glass in my pocket. I didn't know it was in there. Stabbed me in the finger. Um, and you know, you can see where, you know, these are big heavy turtles and they've worked their way through these shallows and kind of turned up the sand. And then anywhere where they've dug under a bank recently, you'll see a lot of sediment just kind of pouring out from under that bank. And that, so these are all the things that I look for to kind of give me an idea if there's one in the area. Uh, the, the adults, you know, because they're a riverine turtle, they use stretches of rivers and streams um, different times of the year. So this time of year, they're all gonna kind of congregate in similar areas. So some are gonna come upstream, some are gonna come downstream to kind of seek each other out for breeding. And you know, even though we've had some overnights in the upper 30s, you know, during the day, these turtles are operating on a clock and cold weather doesn't seem to bother them too much. And they will 
come upstream to try and seek each other out. So uh, odds are pretty good. This is also an area that, you know, with the shallower water, it's also a good place to find some of the juveniles and last year's hatchlings. All right, so I stopped for a moment to take a drink of water and I looked down at my feet and my feet are there. Can you see what is sitting right here? All right, here it is, my first alligator snapping turtle of the year. This is uh, last year's hatchling. Um, this guy was just sitting here right by this uh, old Coke can. And I mean, you can see just how well they blend in, you know, with the, the habitat that they're in. And they, you know, the way their shell and their skin is just totally and completely made to absorb uh, the surrounding algae and mud and everything. And it just makes them just perfectly hidden. And you know, this area right here, this is near where they nest. So there's probably dozens of these guys all around me and I would never even know it just because of how well they can hide. And you know, the reason I see this guy is because he's actually on the move. Uh, normally he would probably be sitting next to something. Um, so that's really cool. And just what a perfect little guy. Let's pick him up, take a look at him. There he goes. Defensive behavior, rolls his tail up, closes his eyes and wishes I would go away. And you can see these guys, just like miniature versions of the adults. Really, really cool to see. He's got a kind of a funny face. I like that he just closes his eyes. Oh, there we go, there's his eye. What a perfect little baby alligator snapping turtle. It just doesn't get any better than that. You know, this will make my whole day. I find, you know, I find a lot and, you know, there's been times where I've found, you know, pretty obnoxious numbers of these guys, but to me, it just, there's nothing better than just finding a little baby. It's, it's so good to know that they're out here and they're reproducing and, you know, that these little guys are crawling around and doing their thing. It's, it's really awesome. And just such a perfect little baby alligator snapping turtle. Uh, when you first walk up on them, uh, it, it's always trips me out because this particular um, stretch of river, the alligator snapping turtles, um, the Apalachicola drainage alligator snapping turtles, they have a shorter um, eye to snout length. So their heads are much more kind of compact. So they almost look, you know, when you first walk up on them, they almost look a little bit like a, uh, a common snapper with that shortened snout. Um, because their heads are made to grow kind of enlarged like a loggerhead musk for eating mollusks as adults. So, uh, nice little guy. So, gonna let him go right here next to his Coke can. And uh, we'll see if we can find, look, I'm willing to bet that little spot right there is probably where he was hiding. So we'll see if we can find any more. Um, otherwise, we go to a new spot, see if we can find some other types of turtles. Now, I was looking over here and you can see some tail drags and some footprints going along this uh, shallow area so it does look like uh, there is some juvenile you know probably five to six inch alligator snappers that have kind of walked around in here and been foraging uh, these guys get really active at night uh, there's like kind of a lot of misconceptions that they sit around and all they ever do is is wiggle their lure which they do when they're young but at night all ages will kind of run around and um, forage for food so heavily nocturnal turtles and uh, wow, couldn't be happier. First alligator snapper of the year. So walking some shallow semi murky water right now. Um, this spot is good for loggerhead musk turtles. So I figured I'd try and get at least one loggerhead in hand. Um, there's also a good amount, a good amount of cotton mouths here, a few other things. So I believe there's alligator snappers here. I've just never actually gotten one in hand at this spot. Uh, like I said, it's really good for loggerheads. So, um, alligator snappers do eat loggerhead musks. Uh, so I'm gonna keep looking and hopefully get a loggerhead and be able to show it to you. All right, here we go. Loggerhead musk right here on the move. Take a look at this this logger head. Yep, it's a uh, good-looking female loggerhead musk turtle. Uh, she's moving upstream, probably getting to an area to feed on some clams and snails and all that stuff. Uh, just below this this impoundment of this waterfall uh, kind of dam thing. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty dark loggerhead musk, but um, always cool to see these guys. 
So I'm gonna let her go and send her on her way. Loggerhead musk turtles, one of my favorite turtles, so always makes me happy to see them in the wild. And you can see they love this this flowing rocky habitat is is what they like to be in here. Lots of lots of oxygenation and you know just a good spot for them. Right next to the female was this male right here. Let's see, I'm gonna put them both together since they were so close. And yeah, that's a that is a big old male loggerhead musk turtle. Look at the look at the honking nose on this guy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So yeah, no doubt he was um, probably trying to mate with her or just had mated with her and maybe she was trying to get away and call it a day and get some rest or something, but um, pretty cool. I always like to see, you know, these guys and this time of year, it's not unusual to find musk turtles, you know, in pairs or within close range of each other. So very cool. So yeah, that started off as one turtle, ended up being two pair of loggerhead musk turtles. All right, so now I've driven over and I'm checking out this little flooded area on the side of a creek by a bridge. Um, when I was walking across the bridge, I did see some small, looks like cooters and sliders. Uh, we'll see if we can catch any and uh, see what else might be hiding out in here. All right, so I had come down this area of the creek, was crossing over this log jam, and then looked down in the sand, and there was this nice looking male loggerhead musk turtle just working his way across the bottom. So pretty cool. It's the, you know, second old male like this I've seen. The other one was yesterday. So it's really cool to see these big old ones. This actually, in this area, I almost never see loggerhead musks here. So usually I'm catching uh, striped mud turtles. But it's cool to see this guy. All right, well, that's it for this week. Uh, it's still early in spring, so uh, it's still a little bit off and on uh, as far as how many turtles and reptiles I'm gonna see when I'm out. So I am moving these uh, Field Hurt Fridays to every other Friday, uh, just until the season starts to pick up and I start to really get a lot more stuff each time. So thank you for watching these. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.